So hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with... Brad. And Melody. And they came all the way from New York, although they had other places too, but New York. And they went through the entire Museum of Interesting Things, which took, what, a week? A month? You guys have to sleep here in pajamas on the sofa? What day is it? Yeah, we don't even know what year it is anymore. Uh, and now they get to open up a new acquisition, never seen before by me or anybody else. And I do this like a 42nd Street Times Square shell game. So a guy used to show up when I was a kid, I remember this, guy showed up with three shells and he would put a quarter under one of the shells and then he mixed up the shells like this and you had to guess which shell had the quarter and you would win something. Uh, Melody, the only difference here is I don't have three shells. There isn't a quarter under any of my boxes and you win nothing. So ethically, it's exactly like a New York shell game if you think about it. But the, <laughs> the similarity is... I do mix them up. So I am going to mix up the boxes. Are you guys confused? I'm confused. Excellent. Are you confused? Yeah. Excellent. Good. So uh, pick a box, any box to open. Go ahead. It looks like you already picked one. <laughs> Whichever you want. That one? Yeah. And which one do you want? I'll take this one. Excellent. And I will give you your scuffles. So there you go. And I'll open the third one. I guess this one. Put your shop in. The just don't cut yourself. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it away. Smart girl. You're doing it towards me. Thanks a lot there, Melody. <laughs> oh, look, somebody sent you peanuts. Oh, mm. good. I was hungry. I haven't had lunch. Not that sort of peanut. That's probably for the monkey. The <laughs> organ grinder monkey. I like that. Melody. She gets all my jokes right away. <laughs> It's my cookie. Okay. I think she just did down the back. I I I tried. Yeah, she has to get. Here, let me. I did that like ten times. Yeah. It's not. It's not just there. You have to go do it down yeah, there. Yeah, like this. Ta-da! Oh. Yep. A note there. Oh, I'll take the note because that's cheesy. <laughs> and then take out the record. It looks like a record. And it is. It's a happy birthday Cindy record by Captain Zoom. So there was uh, this character, Captain Zoom, that made personalized birthday records. Mm. Um, you know, maybe there's a melody. I haven't gotten one yet. Uh, I'll work on getting your name. But we have the world's largest collection of 45s. Uh, with names on them. And I actually know the guy, Captain Zoom. He, uh, he got up the company ages ago. And he still does these digitally. Uh, but yeah, when it's somebody's birthday, I can have someone sing your name or I have famous people singing happy birthday generically. But it's a very fun, cool show. That's a cool one for you to open. And I got the Edison Blue Amber Record. Ah, and let's see what song it is because I have so many songs. So if I buy a new one, it's got to be cool. And this one is a country you're not from, but you are from another country. This one is I'll Take You Back to Italy. <laughs> so, but with you, it'd be Australia. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> but that's really cool. So this is, a, this is one of the, um, the celluloid ones, uh, not the wax ones. And the name would be also on the edge as well here because there was nowhere else to put it. Um, but yeah, these are one of the, the, the first records, the cylinders, and that yeah, one is a four-minute. Edison always put his name and his picture on everything. Can you think of any other businessman that insists on putting his name on absolutely everything? <laughs> Bob Dylan. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's very... Oh, we have another one. Wait, we'll do this one together. All right. Okay, so... Ooh. Ah, oh. uh, okay. A millimeter? No. Oh, it's a oh. film. And it's a really it's nice a film. film. So pull those out. It's a film. Be careful. There's two. Ooh. Okay. I was scared of breaking it. That's why I was saying. Film. Film. Uh, oh, that's funny. This is Eddie Cantor commercial. Do you know Eddie Cantor? From, um... Uh, he was a thinking. famous comedian. No, I'm thinking of somebody else. Yeah, he was a very famous comedian, and he did some songs also. Um, and actually met his grandson. So that's why I picked up this. Yeah. These are commercials that he did. Oh, there's two commercials. 
So you, we, we opened up Eddie character commercials. So that's kind of perfect for, you know, kind of us together and especially yeah. my the third one, kind of me, because I met the guy's grand, uh, grandson. And this is the most beautiful reel. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and it gives you the numbers. So this is 50 feet. So now you can tell how many feet are on the reel. That's really cool. Pun intended. Get it? Really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is the Eagle Projector Company of Chicago. I love this reel. I've never seen a reel like this. This is my first reel that's this cool looking. And that's my show. Ta-da! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Great, Bye, world. Bye, world.